Hello, welcome to another video. And this video is about cleaning your tanks. In this one, we're not gonna do this one just yet. And the reason for that is it says in the destructions, add 600 millimeters to an empty tank. So we're talking about the gray waste here, 50 liters of lukewarm water, and then drive your RV for an hour. What we're gonna do with this one is do that cleaning when we're on the way to the next site and then we'll dump the waste when we get there so that's all good stuff now this one though the puri clean we can do let me just go through so i've been through the instructions i've never done this before so if i do this wrong in the comments let me know any comments at all about using puri clean whether there's a better one whether there was a cheaper one i have heard a lot of people just throw a steridant tablet in the tank i think it's a good idea i think it's probably cheaper but i think what that misses is unless you spray it the pipes on the way down to the tank whereas this because you're washing it through with the gubbings the solution in the water i think it might do a better job it's the first time i've done this so any ideas about how to do this better comments below so it just says one teaspoon for, per gallon which is 45 liters i think i've got a 90 liter tank so that's going to come out at 20 teaspoons and it says put that into a container agitate to dissolve then what we need to do is add that solution to the tank fill the tank with water and pump it through all the taps including the shower so basically fill it with water and then pump it so that once it's had a chance to mix up a bit the solution and the water is actually in the taps so so that would be good so we can do that that's no problem and then basically you leave soak for one to 12 hours so i'm going to leave it for most of today and because this is the first time we've done it we've had for a year can you believe that and we've not done it but then again we don't drink the water out of the tank but that's something i'll come on to because i want to put a water filter and uv system in line so that we can sort of safely drink the water because we take the water with us mainly because we've just never had the confidence in the tank but also it's just a bit more convenient really and a bit less worry uh, right okay so back up on the thing there so what we're going to do is mix up the solution pour that in the tank and then fill the tank pump it through the taps and then leave it basically then we have to pump it out rinse again pump out and then it's ready to be filled the next time we want it. So it's two rinses, basically, we have to do. There is one thing I'm going to do a little bit different. So I've got one of these little bottles. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of Puri Clean to it. And what I'm going to do is spray the pipe area and the connectors. Because it's probably not a bad thing to do, right? So, right, let's get on with it then. Okay, so we need 20 of these. 10. This does seem like a lot. Let me just check that. So we've got 10 so far. Um, got a 90, 90 litre tank because the tank is bigger. The water tank is bigger than the waste tank. And the reason for that, I believe, is because uh, there's an assumption that some of your other water will go in washing up and or into the toilet. So you won't have so much to get rid of. Let me just check this. So we've got 90 litres, 90 divided by 4.5 equals 20 it is actually 20 so even though that sounds a lot that's what it is so we've got 10 so let's go again and we also want to add or i want to add one half a teaspoon to in here and actually it's not a bad idea because it will actually clean this as well so we're going to add in there okay to agitate that that will be used to spray on the fitments and the pipe area. So that, that'd be good. So let that do its thing. I reckon we've probably got enough for three to four times to do the tank out of that. And it was seven pounds with 30% off at Brown Hills. So let's, let's just do the numbers, shall we? Let's do the numbers. So um, seven divided by 1.3 equals so five pound 38 so it works out roughly two pounds it's a small amount of money really so that's not too bad so that's need to make that agitate in there so that's doing that and then what we're going to do here is add that to here some water and then what we've got to do is dissolve that in there so we use this 
it's all settling at the bottom you see I'll give all this a rinse off in a minute so as I say if this is not how to do it please do comment below because as I say I've, this is not something I've done before so I'm a bit of a newbie to all this so how are you doing anyway everything all right anything you want to put down in the chat do below anything bothering you the weather it's bothering me anything really if you, if you want any ideas for videos as well that would be useful right so we've got our spray which we're going to do the connections with and we're going to tip this into the tank guys nice hard work but have a bit of tea that tea tastes like coffee right okay let's go and see what we've got to do now we've got 20 teaspoons of pure clean done that add some water to dissolve add to the main tank let's get outside all right okay so we need to disconnect and we'll take this off. This is a 3D printed kind of closer thing or kind of protector to stop the water getting contaminated by bugs and stuff. So you put that on there like that and then pull that out. So what we're gonna do, we're going to give all of this on there, particularly around there, a bit of a spray upwards because I don't think when I pull this stuff in, it's going to do the curve of the pipe. Give that a good squirt in there. And this as well. I don't want to get too much on the paint, so I can't imagine that will do any good. Right, okay. And then... Also we'll do this. get this on your hands I'll wash my hands in a minute and then to get see I've got water written on there um, that's because I've got about three of these things that I carry one is for add blue one's for water and one's for oil so what we can do is do that and then add this to the tank you have to take your time with this because it does spill most of it in the tank and not on the floor. Right, so we've got quite a bit of um, some bits there, so I can just spray that down. Right? Like that. That. Some more in the jug as well that hasn't dissolved. And then we use warm water. Anyway, pull that in. That's not bad at all. Good. Okay. So now we want to put this in there so we've cleaned all that now that goes in there marvellous right just need to go and wash my hands right okay let's fill up the water then so those pipe on you have to be really careful when you do this you don't push it because you bend the van otherwise so a good way of doing it is to take that out and push push it on there and then put that in the van because then you're not really pushing on it too hard let's see how that works there we go so it took nine minutes to fill up the tank and you can see that because it's all running out there what we're going to do i have left the pipe on for a minute because, 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 um, I want to turn the pump on in a sec. I want to put some water through, then I'll close the taps off and top up the tank again because I want the water to come to the top of the tank. Ah, 
So what's happening here, I can tell you, is I've got the valve open on the uh, on the heater, the boiler. There we go. So that's washing through some lovely treated water. Butter for a minute because that has to come through the, the water heater. Let's do a little bit in the bathroom as well. There we go, that's coming through there lovely now. That's the hot water. Now, there we go, that's done. Now we need to do the same in here. There we go, that's lovely. That's hot. Hot. Cold. That's good. And now, as much as we don't want to see down the loop, let's just pump some through there as well. Okay, so right, we're getting there. So now what I'm gonna do is just top up the tank again. Now I've put some pressure in because all that water that was topping the tank because it was overflowing has gone down now and I wanna clean the top of the tank. So we'll do that. I will dilute what's in there a little bit, but that should be all right, right? Let me know, I don't know. Just waiting for the tank to top up again after I pump the water through the system. And then I'll know that the water tank is topped up to the top. There we go. Right, okay, that's the water topped up, so I'm not gonna bore you seeing me fill it back up again. So what I'll do, I'll wait for, it says one to 12 hours. So I'm probably gonna leave that till sometime early evening. So it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now, I think. Um, so what time is it? Oh, it's half past nine. So, God, how did I think it was 11 o'clock? So I'll wait till maybe at eight o'clock tonight and then rinse it through, drain it, and then rinse it again. And then that should be about right. So yeah, hopefully that was, um, I'm not gonna say interesting, but good to see how I do it for the first time. But if you've got a better way of doing it, comments down below. Thanks very much.